So, uh, yeah, spin the bottle, which I can already tell people probably just the name of the movie. It's stupid. It's about the cursed game called Spin the Bottle. Which is true. Uh, I mean, it pretty much deals with, it starts out in the late 70s. Pretty much a mass murder, mass cigarette at home happened when the kids were playing, teens were playing Spin Bottle. Stuff happens, and it cuts to present day. A up and coming quarterback, football player in college, I believe. Uh, he inherits that house. He makes friends, and they want to play spend the bottle, so they do. Oh, L.A. Larder is also in this for like a uh, very few minor scenes which i was surprised to see her in this like what is she gonna i didn't think she'd be a huge part in it which she isn't but then they do work her in splice her in towards the, the beginning a little bit in the middle and mostly at the end um the acting was whatever i mean it's one of those we we did something we w awoke this evil presence in this home, or in this house, doing whatever. We unleashed it, we gotta stop it, we gotta trap it. Friends die at one by one. <laughs> Till there's one survivor. And... I didn't mind the film, overall. Um, the rules, I'll say, are a bit janky to me, because considering, you know, how this entity works um the characters i mean the the main the lead guy his acting was just okay everybody else was just okay the acting in this is just fine uh, editing is a bit odd as well in spots especially at the at the beginning where when him and uh, uh la lardo plays his mom he sends her off to a care center and like it splices in like a, a shot of him driving and then a shot of him sitting at the care center and then back to him driving and it splices back and forth. I'm like, why is that happening? Bad ed editing. Um, this And then as I'm watching this movie, oh, also Justin Lo Long is in this as well from Jeepers Creepers, from Tusk. If anybody even remembers that film. Um, he played in, what, Barbarian, I believe. Or The Barbarian, or just Barbarian. Um, which I thought, he plays the, the sheriff. He plays the, the father of one of the love interests. Um, he doesn't really have much to do other than stay away from my daughter. And I mean, he seems like a decent character overall. Um, once you get backstory of, you know, this curse that's happening and why this game of spin the bottle, you know, entices this demon, because you find out it's a demon, um, of course, because it always has to be demons, can't be, I don't know, um, the chick from, if you, anybody watches uh, Vampire Diaries, if you watch the spinoff of that, the chick who plays one of the twins in that show, plays in the show Legacy, she plays in this, uh, she was decent in this. I didn't care for the ending, because the way it kills the characters off in like lame ways, although I can't really say lame, because it's it was interesting, I kind of did like the the image of this demon sucking souls out of people, so that was pretty cool overall, but then it seemed like sometimes it would do that, and another time it would just straight up kill people, like it, I swear it killed the one football douchebag of the group, I swear it just killed him off, 
they pushed him into a car or something and shot him or something or made him shoot himself or something but then like everybody else is like either tries to suck their souls out you know i mean it drags a bit because it goes oh this girl's one of the friends of this group is missing and then we spend time mourning that character i'm like can we just get on with the rest of the movie and i of course i was surprised also how they jumped to to the conclusion oh it must be uh supernatural going on here i mean the, the sheriff's daughter gets into this kid this kid cole like right off the bat she already has the hots for him i don't understand why just because he's new i guess Oh, he's so nice to me. I guess I uh, can pursue him. Like, what? <laughs> like, she even says, like, she loved him the first time she saw him. I'm like, are you serious? And, yep, that. If anything, I wouldn't, I would have just, like, cut out the whole love, uh, interest stuff. How about we just have them as be friends? Like, why, why can't they just be friends <laughs> instead? Everything has to be romanticized. Um, but yeah, it's just, it ends up, spoilers, ends up just being those two by the end that survive, because the black guy of the group is stupid, because he ends up shooting at a ghost or a demon, and he thinks bullets can kill it, so he chases it off, and then he runs up, instead of going outside, I thought he was going to get shot by the police, because, you know, but no, he goes upstairs, then he falls for a trick of the demon pretending to be either his girlfriend or one of his friends and he gets dragged off and killed lame lamely another blonde chick from of the group also dies in a lame way she locks herself in a room she gets killed off, off well not off screen she gets killed off soul sucked they do the whole uh shang chong shang song pretty much in this is what style depths is what goes on in this movie basically and i don't know like uh, this movie it was kind of boring i mean i saw the trailer for it it looked fine again the concept of oh if you play this this game of the spin the bottle or even I guess that even if you destroy it, you can't really destroy the bottle if you put it in a furnace and just blow it up. It's still it's just one piece. I don't know about that. It, of course, it leaves off for a, a sequel bait ending, which I guarantee this isn't getting one. I don't know why they tried to do that. Knowing the, knowing the, the concept of this film to begin with. Don't get it. Anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts on this movie, if you liked it, didn't like it. Also, if you want me to review, commentate, or re do a reaction to anything, movies, shows, music, uh, whatever, uh, PayPal down below, uh, link, you know, and uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe.